I was a commercial fisherman in Louisiana for 26 years. I know what happened to the red fish and the trout and all like that. I've seen it wiped out in five years by commercial fishermen. Those groupers could be wiped out in two years. Nassau grouper spawn once or twice every winter, and while they're normally solitary and territorial, they will get together from many, many miles around into a small location, and so you'll get thousands and thousands of individuals at a half kilometer by half kilometer, a very small reef area, and there they will spawn, and after they're all said and done with their spawning, they'll go back home to their home reefs and spread out uh, over miles and miles of reef area. When NASA grouper aggregate to reproduce, lots of individuals from a large, large area get together in a very small area. When you get that many individuals in a small area, it's very easy to, to, to fish them. It's like fish in a barrel, literally. And so when these aggregations happen, if you allow fishing, just a few vessels even, you can remove most of those fish in a few seasons. 2,000 were taken in 2001, and then another almost 2,000 were taken from the spawning aggregation in 2002. After they sold as much as they could here, then they went to Grand Cayman. And they sold all they could down there. The market was glutted and a lot of fish just went to waste and spoiled. There's lots of evidence to suggest that when you fish it to the point that it is no longer worth fishing, the population ultimately doesn't recover afterwards, even if you put a lot of protections in place to try and affect that recovery. Every grouper now is critical because the numbers are so small. It's sort of this concept that should stick very well in the Cayman Islands if you want to use a banking analogy is that you spend your interest, not your principal, right? And that spawning aggregation is our principal. And well protected, it'll produce interest forever. And we can continue to fish other areas around the island within limits if the aggregation site itself is protected. Nassau grouper are a critically important component of Caribbean coral reefs, not just because they're important in a fisheries context, people like to eat them, but also because they are an apex predator on coral reefs, which means they exert a lot of top-down control, a very structuring force on how Caribbean coral reefs are structured and how ecosystems work in, in the Caribbean. And because of that, they are really a, a driver of healthy coral reefs. The more of them you have, ultimately, the more healthy your coral reefs will be. There's really good evidence to suggest that when those fish spawn out there, the baby grouper that they're producing ultimately end back up on the Cayman Reefs. And, and that's important because what it means is the extent to which you protect those spawning sites during this critical period of time when they're reproducing, you will increase the number of new baby grouper that show up on these coral reefs. And ultimately, in the Cayman Islands, you'll have more fish to catch into the future and more fish for divers to see. So we need to... We must protect what we have, otherwise you can say goodbye Nassau Group. <laughs>